Hello everyone, very good morning, welcome back. In this video, I am going to update uh, something on the training process and also I will try to answer a few questions uh, usually I get from the people uh, who inquire about training. So before we start, uh, I have been training people uh, since last 4 years in which uh, last uh, 3 years I have been associated with uh, Adban Pro. I think most of you would have seen my uh, Adban Pro profile and the reviews. So all of these are genuine reviews from the people uh, who took training from me. So you can go through these reviews and you can read before you uh, start with me or you can also compare with other people. Uh, you can still decide that as well and completely fine with that. So these are the companies uh, people got placed recently uh, after the training. I am still not aware of uh, other companies. Uh, there could be even more. So all the people who got jobs, uh, they got by themselves without depending on other people they crack the interviews by themselves i'm very happy to uh, share that i'm not claiming that everyone got job in their first attempt a uh, few have got in first attempt or couple of attempts or even multiple attempts but at the end of the day uh, if you crack the interview by yourself uh, the level of confidence that gives is completely different so i'm very happy uh, about this and coming to training process, uh, yes, uh, we cover many things uh, along with Power BI. So you can see my Power BI service. Uh, first, we we'll start with uh, SQL basics. Uh, as I told earlier, we don't cover entire SQL that are linked to Power BI. So then we'll start with Power BI desktop, which is our desktop environment uh, for developing the reports and data modeling and uh, many other things. Then we'll go on to Power BI service. This is my Power BI service. And uh, you can see I'm using Power BI premium producer license, not pro license. And also I'm going to provide uh, two Power BI Pro and Power BI premium producer accounts for you to practice, which are a 60 day trial. 60 days are more than sufficient to understand uh, Power BI service. And uh, we will also cover Power BI report server, which is uh, on-premises deployment. Few companies use this uh, deployment who are not using Power BI service. And uh, we'll also see Power Automate I cannot cover complete Power Automate because that's not the scope of this training. So what are all that are linked to Power BI in general, in common we use in Power BI. So I will cover those things in Power Automate. And this is uh, Office 65 admin portal. I'll give the overview of this portal and why it is required and who will use these things. And with respect to Power BI, uh, why it is used to you as a Power BI administrator. So these things we will discuss. And if you are going as Power BI admin or Maybe you are also taking care of Power BI administration in your company. So you would also need to understand how this uh, Power Platform Admin Center works and what exactly we do here and all these things. And uh, we will see Azure portal. Here we will discuss on uh, Azure Answer Services. And we will see a few other services as well that are part of Power BI that is required for you to understand in the real time. The scope of the training is not just Power BI. Along with Power BI which are all required for you as a real time developer. Uh, to step into power bi role so i am trying to cover these things as well which will be really advantage for you and i have few questions uh, to answer uh, from people uh, they usually ask these questions about timings uh, i always follow standard timings the classes are from monday to saturday in which monday to thursday will be 7 to 8 30 am indian time in the morning and uh, friday saturday would be 7 to 9 am two hours in the morning these are standard timings I follow for all the batches. I only take uh, one batch. Uh, only after this batch only I will start new batch. Because I have only uh, limited time uh, each and every day. That's why I cannot take uh, two or three batches a day. It's only one batch. And uh, this is a common question I get from people. Is this content really required? Yes, it is really required. Because if you are going as a Power BI developer in any organization. By default, they would expect from a candidate that they would know all these things about SQL Server knowledge and Power BI, Power BI service and also there are few things that are part of Power BI which are uh, part of business intelligence in Microsoft. So that's why uh, I am covering these things. Uh, why not just Power BI? Yes, you can just only rely on Power BI but the chances would be less, uh, I can say. That's why it is always good to know. Uh, other things as well along with Power BI. Yes, I will really teach these things in classes because whatever I showed, it's all my uh, own tenant and domain. I have proper real-time environment 
and even you can see even the machine I'm using also is domain machine it's not uh, normal Windows machine you can see it is uh, domain name slash username machine and uh, training language it's English uh, but I am from Andhra Pradesh I know Telugu I also speak Tamil so that's why if someone would like to discuss in Telugu yes uh, I can explain you in Telugu in the classes or if that's not possible I can also connect with you personally I'll call you and I'll explain that thing. so that will not be any problem with me and next uh, common question I usually get is uh, is SSIS required I always tell this uh, if you're coming to business intelligence or any data site uh, for the very first time if you know BI and ETL it's always advantage for you I mean uh, SSIS is also part of MSBA which is uh, Microsoft business intelligence so I mean if you are uh, aware of both reporting data modeling and uh, ETL it's always uh, uh, good for you you'll get more opportunities that's fine even though you are learning only power bi and other other things uh, that are linked with power bi i recommend to learn ssis for uh, better opportunities and also better career growth i always recommend that why i'm not teaching complete dax because uh, i am openly telling that i don't cover complete dax but people might tell outside they will teach complete dax but that's not true because dax is a big version no one can cover complete scenarios no one can cover complete dax because it's part of learning and uh, whatever we we'll discuss in the classes that is more than sufficient to start with yes taking that as a uh, starting point or as a uh, uh, understanding from what we discuss you can still learn additional things in your uh, uh, in your journey that's fine and why i'm taking uh, seven weeks to complete uh, one batch as uh, outside they're finishing very quickly yes correct maybe outside they're just telling uh, little bit in power bi not covering entirely that could be the reason or maybe they are taking uh, additional time to cover i am not sure but my intention is uh, i want to cover a proper subject uh, without rushing anything and my intention is everyone should get a job who train under me that's why i'll take time i don't rush i want to make the things clear uh, clear the doubts and it will take time for sure seven weeks is power be easy yes i cannot deny this statement but uh, it's not very easy and i cannot say it's very difficult but don't uh, think that everything is easy because there are many things that uh, even in power bay we should know understand clearly without that even you cannot even work in the real time so but in general people tell outside uh, power bay is very easy it's just uh, reporting drag and drop power bay is not this drag and drop tool there are many things in Power BI, right from data modeling and reporting and uh, Power BI service and DAX. There are many things involved here. So don't think it's easy. But please don't think only as a Power BI uh, as your career because Power BI may be a starting point as of now. But there are many things in the data side that you would, uh, that you should know going forward. And uh, do we get job after the training? Yes, you will get for sure. Uh, because that was my experience uh, with other people in the last uh, four years but that depends on many factors like uh, how are you practicing and how are you learning the subject because it's not only from my end I will deliver the sessions at the same time you also need to practice these things and clear your doubts sometimes I also I may also don't know a few things then I'll refer and come back to you so all this is part of learning so first concentrate on learning the subject and if you're good at subject you will get job for sure that depends on the opportunities at that point of time but yes i would say you will get job uh, after the training if you practice everything uh, and uh, learn the subject so these things i just want to inform uh, next week uh, tuesday a uh, new batch is going to start if anyone interested you can uh, reach out to me or if you would uh, think someone could benefit from this training please refer to them and uh, ask them to reach out to me so that's all I have. Uh, thank you so much. Bye everyone.